Welcome back. I'm some guy you've never heard of, and this is Dangerous High School Girls in Trouble. Alright, so find which masked person visiting the outskirts is the doctor. We get you in the hotel. To free girls, your to free Bill, your girls need better a better tool. Who in town might have one? Find which mass person visiting the outskirts is the doctor. Uh, digging up political corruption is like digging up your grandmother. You know where it is, but not what it'll look like. Oh, and we're down a girl still. Alright, I suppose we should go to school, see if we can recruit someone. Uh, let's see what's going on at the pharmacy. Oh, it's just Handy Boy. I was hoping that we might be able to interact with, uh... Timothy Richards again. It's been a while since we talked to him. Um... I guess I'll try flirting with Handy Boy. No, we're gonna go to school. Ignore him, Emma. We're gonna go to school. Um. Hopefully, I can find Dapper Boy there, and we can recruit another girl. Right, who's in the hallways here? It's the... Jesse. I'm not from the big city, but my rural beginning has tainted me as an outsider. You're my heroines. Alright, we'll accept. Um, Jesse joins the gang. With luck, I may finally graduate before Daddy moves on us again. I mean, before Daddy moves us again. Okay. Alright, what are your stats like, Jesse? 5356. Five, okay. Good to know. Alright, anyone else hanging around school? One of the boys, maybe? No, it looks like classes are the only things right now. Well, we're not at school to actually attend school. Let's go to the Dells. Your girls spy truant officer Wedge approaching. We're going to run. Your girls were able to lose him. Good. Alright, who might have a tool? I would think Max would be my best bet for tools. Max saws through a length of copper pipe. The blade on his hacksaw gleams bright and sharp. Oh. Let's go ahead and fib. I have... Two pair. All one color and a full house so yeah i'm good i'm just gonna bid my full house he'll raise me four of a kind okay well, i'm gonna go ahead and call yeah of course you didn't have it <clears throat> Right now, we need that saw more than you. Charlotte snatches it out of Max's hands. He blinks, but acquiesces. Okay, I know that we've done a lot for him, but, I mean, come on. We can be a little more polite about that. 
This saw has the cutting edge against metal. All right, good. So that should help us get, uh, what's this face? Let me guess, is this shoe the, lo the, the loyal order of dem guys? Probably. Oh no, it's Handy Boy again. Why is it always Handy Boy? No, we good. Is it the gas and garage? Well, it's Soldier Boy. Um, no, we're, we're good right now. Yeah, let's, uh, let me know. Yeah, let's go to the outskirts, see if we can find anything there. Oh no, we have to specifically take the trolley. Um. But I've already clicked on it, there's no back option. Okay, downtown, I guess. Uh, let's run from Truant Officer Wedge. Alright, we were able to lose him. There's the trolley. Alright, yes, we'd like to go to the outskirts, please. Yes, take us out of town. Alright. Alright, let's see what's going on around here right now. Let's go over to Field of Stumps. Bill stands shivering in the night. A partially nibbled bundle of hay lies next to him. The iron collar is welded on. Yeah, we're gonna use our item. No, not the crowbar. We're not trying to... Yeah, we just hurt the pony at that point. No, the hacksaw. It takes a lot of effort, but eventually the hacksaw cuts the chain from Bill's collar. He bolts away. Good for him. Bill the Pony needs some love. Okay. Oh, there's Bill the Pony again. Bill seems to recognize your girls. He lets them approach. Alright, parlay. Let's see, we can shout ugly, we can scratch him, we can pinch him, we can kiss him. Well, it says he needs some love, so no, let's give him a kiss. Um, Bill Raspberry, oh, raspberries? No, I'm sorry. Bill Raspberries and retreats a step. Let's scratch him. Charlotte scratches a pustule on Bill the Pony's hide. Oh, that's not quite what I meant to do. That's nice, he speaks. More scratching. Charlotte scratches him some more. It feels good, he declares and rubs his snout against her shoulder. Bill proceeds to follow your girls wherever they go. Bill the pony awaits his next scratching. An ugly pony lowers your popularity, but taunts hurt far less. Okay, cool. That's pretty cool. Oh, 
Alright, um... Yeah, let's take a look at the bots right now. Oh, Pool Boy is here. Oh. Um, I'm not allowed to divulge the identities of bathers, and you shouldn't be in the men's bath either. No, I'll gambit him. I'm gonna go devious. Oh, good. He went smooth. Oh no, bad, he went smooth. I don't have any, yeah. To save your queen from her loss, someone must suffer a worse penalty. Um, yeah, I guess it's Myrtle then. Bye, Myrtle. The thought of picking through the dirty old men in here is revolting. Myrtle revolts. Okay, um, well... No, I'm going to the men's baths again. I have a feeling it's somewhere we should go. Especially since there's the op the gambit option. So yeah, I'm going to gambit again. Okay, so... He went... So I should just play brazen then. Yeah, he played smooth, so I should play brazen. I'll score and I'll stop him from doing anything. Unless he changes it up, of course. He did, he went brazen as well. But that's okay, I put more points into brazen, so I win. If you use your ears instead of your eyes, the dock is difficult to mistake. The dock? Oh. I can assure you, I am not the doctor. He is unconcerned by your girl's presence and is possibly bored by it. Well, I'm going to expose you. In the bath. Oh, that's right. I get a ridiculous amount of things because I've got the uh, sanitation patrol thing. So, yeah. Heart Club, Diamond, 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 Heart, oops, I didn't mean to do that, Diamond Club, Heart, Heart, alright, let me do these three clubs, let me do these other hearts, one, there's three, no, there's four of them, okay, oh, this one turned into a spade, nice. And then there are four diamonds. Oh, and they turned those two turned into spades. So there we go. All right. Ah, oh, there is nothing richer in life than a hot soak in the company of men. Okay, I couldn't read the rest in time. Doc, you and your corpuscles are off to a medical emergency. Her whisper grows louder until he capitulates. Alright, let's go to Tent Town then. I found the cause. The spring thaw and rains made Indians Creek overflow and foul Tent Town's well. If they boil their water until this creek subsides, they should be fine. Thank you so much for helping Tent Town. They'd like me to give you something. Alright, what do they want to give us, um, Madame Zambinovka? You are now you are now honorary citizens of Tent Town. She hands your girls a war medal case. 
This badge is an honorable medal of helpful rebellion, a simple badge of dignity from people who earn it. Okay. Perhaps the police need help against government corruption? Well, perhaps they do. Um... All right, yeah, let's go back to downtown then. Alright, let's go to the police station. Nell? Who's Nell? Um... I can see now you excel at public subterfuge, an irony few can appreciate and fewer master. Let me help. Oh, she's a girl. I didn't recognize this one. Alright. Nell joins the gang. Her grades are terrific, wherever, wherever teachers need her. I'm sorry, whenever teachers need her. Okay, now let's go talk to Sergeant Albert. Tell me your troubles, or is this about a small crime, a great crime, or our operations? Let's parlay. It started small, but it seems to be getting bigger. See Officer Kooning down the hall, on the right, before you get to the cells. Okay. What's the trouble, missus? He attempts to tip his helmet, but it hangs from the coat rack. Uh, Jimmy Finn's plans. I think Jimmy Finn is planning something more dastardly than hazardous goods or trash thugs. Don't worry your pretty heads, as your guardians, we will see you safe. I think the deal between the mayor and Jimmy Finn may be illegal. It would be if it were made public, but the mayor's office hasn't seen reason to do so. You know about it? Only circumstantially. If you haven't anything else, I must return to my duties. He grabs his jacket and helmet and resumes patrolling Brig Brigaton. Right, let's talk to Sergeant Albert again. Alright, um, I was born a poor farmer's daughter in a little house in the big woods. You can skip ahead to the present. Alright, City Hall is more corrupt than egg salad in the sun. I'm not sure whom I can trust. In Brigaton... I'm Brigaton's oldest inhabitant. I've seen heroic scoundrels and treacherous heroes. Good luck. Surely Oswald and the ghost of Brigaton's founder are older than you. I was a seedling when the local natives faced their doom. You were once a tree in Brigaton? Yes, my acorns were the original cobbling over the town circle. Your wood is a hardly aged from the look of it. Oh my god, the desk sergeant is literally a desk. Okay, I never caught on to that. Okay. A blush tinges his finish. Shucks, but I was logged and carpentered before you were born. Why were you cut down? I was sick of reminding Brigaton of its greatest folly. I wanted to... Re represent real justice. What was Brigaton's greatest folly? I said I am sick of reminding people. Now run along and contentedly ignore the past. Um, let's talk to Sergeant 
Albert again. Tell me your troubles, or is it about the small crime? Or our operations? Oh, I thought one of them had an exposed last time. Okay, let's parlay again. Um, police operation. I would like to know more about the town's police oper- how the town's police operate. Chief Gordon's office is at the end of the hall on your left. I was warned, but I honestly didn't expect you. Girls like yourselves usually flock to the detective. Use item. I could use an item on him? Oh, badge evidence. There we go. I was just going to call him. He summons Detective Friendly with the intercom. Jimmy Finn's in the first case. Jimmy Finn's is the first case we would investigate if we weren't desperately at war with worse matters. All right, time to expose. All right. Club, 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 club. Club, diamond, club, 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 spade, diamond, spade, diamond, diamond, okay, let's take this one heart, spade, 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 diamond, spade, spade, and a diamond, and there are six more spades, and I have two. Let's go with that one, and that one. We have blank informed of professional bootleggers from the big city infiltrating blank. Stool Pigeon has blank us with irrefutable blank of alcohol available at the Flatermel Club, nightclub. All right, we have been informed of professional bootleggers from the big city infiltrating Brigaton. Stool Pigeon has supplied us with irrefutable evidence of alcohol available at the Flatermouth nightclub. He rallies the detective. Catch them by complete and utter surprise this time. Yes, sir. He stands to attention and suits. We'll find the source of the, their booze this time, he promises. The detective marches off to the same thing he does every night. Raid the nightclub. Oh, we get to have a powwow. Your girls recap their exploits. Click on the parlay cards to exit. Press the close button when it's active. Did you hear the chief? That's our cue and our clue to get to the bottom of this mess. I wonder where Stool Pigeon got his info. That's what we're going to discover next. We don't have enough money to make Stool Pigeon reveal his source. We'll use his daughter as our bargaining chip. Stool Pigeon has a daughter? Stoolie Girl is Stool Pigeon's daughter. Okay, to convince Stool P Pigeon, find Stoolie Girl at the high school. All right, I should go to the high school then. To the high school. All right, is Stooly go around right now? What's going on in the gymnasium? It's Flatfoot Cooning. Of course it is. Yes, I know it's past nine. Alright, escort us home. Alright, and now it is Saturday. Let's see what this hat on the patio is. It's Truant Officer Wedge. Due to recent accidents, students are allowed on campus only during- No! This kills the weekend, though. It'll have us come back to school on Monday. I'll lose my entire weekend. Alright, except your girls return to their adventures the following Monday morning. Okay. Oh, there she is. You want my father to rat on his new benefact benefactor? The price for that would put me in sterling silver eyeshadow. 
right, let us expose Stooly Girl. All right, club, diamond, diamond, club, heart, diamond, heart, 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 club, heart, diamond, club, heart, diamond. All right. So I've done my every other like I like to do. Let's take that one. Let's take this heart here and this club over here. I suppose this club. Maybe this club. Let's take this diamond and this heart. Oh, there's some spades now. Let's take all those. Alright, so I've got one diamond left. How about this one? Mother could have killed him this something for losing money at the amusement park. Something I would not something but the rat something not even have a nickel for my something. Oh. Okay, that was me using my diamond. And everything else turned into a spade. Okay. <clears throat> Mother could have killed him this morning for losing money at the amusement park. Normally, I would not care. But the rat did not even have a nickel for my lunch. Here's a nickel. The secret to getting my dad to squeal for nothing is lie more deviously than he. Alright, thanks a lot, Stooly Girl. I'll bet you're experts from spending time with that liar, Maximilian. He's not a liar. What do you have against Max? He's just a quirky nerd, that's all. Alright, well, that don't seem to be any boys around, so yeah. Find stool pigeon and lie like a congressman. Nice. To the Dells. Uh, let's run from Truant Officer Wedge. Alright, we were able to lose him. Good. Alright, Stool Pigeon's not over here where he often is. Oh, Creep Alley downtown then. Okay, let's keep running from Truant Officer Wedge. Isn't there one of these called Creep? Oh, it's not labeled. I have to actually look at whatever icon is there. There we go. Alright, Soldier Boy is here, and so is Stool Pigeon. Alright, Stool Pigeon. Go on, get out of here, silly dolls. I ain't gonna reveal my source for the likes of you. Yeah, I'm gonna gambit then. And be devious. He's going to win, though. Because if he goes devious, like, we're... Then he'll put his four in the brazen, and we'll lose. Alright, well, we'll try. No! He went devious, but he went devious badly. So I win, because he put his seven there. Dude, if you're going devious, you always put your lower talent into bra brazen. Like you, we're working for Jimmy Finn, but for special compensation, Charlotte Gambits. He's not special compensation. Chief Gordon must have guessed why the cops ain't found no booze at the nightclub. So, you do work for Jimmy Finn to mislead the police. Charlotte accuses sending stool pigeon packing. Oh, and she can boost a talent. Cool. Alright. Let's go with my rebellion. Uh, 
and okay. It seems your girls and the prize for top liars should... Okay. Has Maximilian been lying about something? Okay. It seems your girls and the prize for top liars should go to Jimmy Finn. Has Maximilian been lying about something? Alright, let's go check with Maximilian. Uh, to the Dells. Oh my god, leave us alone, truant officer wedge. Alright, we lost him. Good. Alright. He scratches his head and grimaces. I did find work, but I'm not supposed to talk about it. Yeah, um, we'll be exposing that then. Alright, diamond. Oops, I didn't mean to get that heart. I meant to get that diamond. Club, diamond, diamond, heart, 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 diamond, heart, diamond. Heart, diamond, speed, 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 heart, heart. All right, let's take some of these speed. Wait. Yeah. Speed, speed, club, speed, speed, club, speed. Spade. Let's take that club, and there we go. I was hesitant, but then I remembered what you girls said. Technically, what I blank been hired to do is blank against the law. Blank the combination of blank involved, blank and fluid dynamics, blank facet. Technically, what I have been hired to do is not against the law. And the combination of sciences involved. Combination of science is involved. Biology and fluid dynamics it is fascinating. Okay, that's got to be biology, and that's sciences. You shouldn't really start a sentence with "and," but it's the only word that works. Yeah, I was hesitant, but then remembered what you, what I was doing wasn't against blah, 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 blah. It won't take long, but please don't disturb me while I'm working on it. He grabs his hacksaw. All right. Um. Yeah, we should go to Jimmy Finn then. Where's my trolley? There's my trolley. Yep, can you uh, take us out of town? Alright, Jimmy Finn would be up here at the junkyard, right? Scrapyard, there we go. I don't have to bribe Stool Pigeon to lie to Chief Gordon, Jimmy Stonewalls. Alright, well, we, we're gonna expose you. Heart, club, diamond, club, diamond, heart, diamond, diamond, club. Alright, let's take this club here, and this diamond, and this club, and this heart. Um, let's take these two diamonds, and these two hearts, and these two clubs. I want to help the police, but Chief Gordon prefers to raid the nightclub instead of following my advice. Detective Friendly knows Jean 
Palladian makes the nightclub's booze, but he hasn't spotted the little link that proves it. Observe Gene Palladian and his pr produce push, push cart. All right. Well, let's go do that then. All right, let's take the trolley back to downtown. Your girls take their observations from behind City Hall. Choose accept to wait or ignore to stop watching. No, we'll, we'll accept. Jean Palladian stirs up business. Soft strawberries, Icelandic lettuce hearts, all the okra you can withstand. The garden club arrive and haggle heroically for a box of fruit. They leave, guarding the box with daring eyes. Press accept to follow them. Alright, we'll follow them. On a hunch, I must suggest, let's find out what they purchased. Your girls follow the three little old ladies. Where did you girls come from? They blink their eyes in surprise. Every time I ask Daddy, Mother clamps her hand over his mouth. Right now we want to ask about your fruit box. Together they shudder and try to hide the box behind them. Their attempts collide and they drop it. It's... It's not what you think. Let's see, should we fib, taunt, fib? Um, too bad I can't taunt. I'm the one with the best popularity. Uh, I guess I'm fibbing. Alright, I've got Dodley Squat. I want to go ahead and flip these two. And I will, uh... Oh, I literally have one of each, because I also have a blank. Yeah, I'll bid my one of each. And she calls. And I have it. So there we go. They fall on the box and beg. Please, don't deny us our drop of comfort. If you're patient, you can track down more than this. Return to watching Jean's, Jean Pelodian's produce cart. Alright. We will continue doing that. Mr. Pelodian grimaces at his daughter. He bends down and reaches under her long skirt. Creepy. Gene stands up. He wipes his hand under a blanket. The umbrella doesn't shade. Dark bananas. Perfect for banana bread. He and his daughter wait for a customer. Big Philip, the nightclub's bouncer, hands Gene a wad of bills. Gene hands him a thick bag of overflowing with greens, except to follow. Yep. On a hunch, Emma suggests maybe there's something hidden under those greens. Your girls follow Big Philip. Well, isn't he the bouncer at Club Fl Flatermow anyway? So yeah. I saw you girls follow back at the pushcart, he advises. You'd better go before my girlfriend sees you. Alright, we have to ignore him. There's no other option. We just want what's in that bag, Mr. Nightclub Henchman. You can't have these vegetables. I paid dearly for them. We'll have to settle for Mr. Pelodian's regular crap. All right, let's expose Big Philip. Right, diamond, 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 club, diamond, club, diamond, club, club, diamond, club, club, club. All right. Um. Oh, these have become spades. And that's a heart, and I still have a diamond. Oh, and those have turned into spades and a heart. Okay, go with the one heart, and let's take some of these spades then. Alright, Mr. Pelodian scrounges old vegetables from Folk's Market and resells them after trimming, trimming off 
blank spots, but he grows fresh ones that cost five times more. Um, bad spots. Alright. Your girls find nothing in Philip's bag except vegetables. Okay, so we gotta keep watching uh, Palladian produce. Yep, we continue. We continue observing. Jean grins and chuckles. He says something to his daughter. She laughs. Together, they start packing up the pushcart. His daughter. He sends his daughter ahead. She waddles slowly away. If she were lame, as if she were lame, except to follow. All right, we'll accept. On a hunch, Charlotte suggests, let's see where she goes. Your girls follow Dorothy down Broadway Avenue. Dorothy. Dot? Dot. Down Broadway Avenue. Okay, which girl is that? Dorothy Palladio. Daddy, so Daddy says if anyone bothers me on my way home, I should yell for the police. Go away. The screech is exceptionally piercing. Oh, uh, let's fib. All right, I've got all one color, or I've got a pair. Let's go ahead and flip these two. Oh no, I've got two pair, and I still have all one color. All right, let me bid my two pair. She went with four of a kind. We'll call. No, she went all the way to four of a kind, though. She probably has it. But no, because I'm not going to bid five of a kind. I'm not going to be able to pull that off. Yeah, let's call. All right, she did not have it. Go ahead and call the police. If you don't, we will. Then we'll tell them where to find the crooks you're hiding. The adolescent panics. She takes off at a dead run, stumbles and smacks into the road. A shattering fills the air with whiskey fumes. Oh. Charlotte rushes to her. Are you hurt? Teary-eyed, the child lets Charlotte untie the broken crockery from her knees. Sniffling, she gains her feet. When she spots a gap between your girls, she escapes again, this time at full speed. Why that little minx, Charlotte squeaks at her friends, reminds, reminds me of some of you. Crack little Dorothy through the woods. Oh, it took us over here already. And your girls wish to discuss something. Press the powwow button. All right, but we're actually going to do that next time. Thank you very much for tuning in. This has been Dangerous High School Girls in Trouble, and I am some guy you've never heard of. Unless, of course, you have. <laughs>